Okay, um, welcome back. Time, Time is, is running, running out. out. Stop! <laughs> Time, Time is, is running, running out. out. Stop! <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors is a mind game. <laughs> right now, go. Rock, Rock paper, paper, scissors, shoot! No! This is a, like we did the same exact thing twice. I did scissors. She did paper. Need assistance. There we go. I'm, I'm Nico's voice. Need assistance. I thought I saw the words bottom and I was like, what? Aw, <laughs> oh, she's cute. She is. Aw, DMC fangirl boys. They made them look ugly in the game. Mm, no, actually, I no. think they look better. They look much better. They look like uh, real people. Yeah. The boys look great, too. Oh, they really do. They all look good. Who's texting me? Shut up! Shut up, shut yeah. up, shut up about this one. They might get rid of daylight saving time in Illinois. Haven't we been talking about this? Not us, but, like, haven't people been talking about that for, like, five years? Mm. Maybe more, but I feel like it's been a very recent... Maybe. Do you think it'll happen, though? It sounds... It just sounds like too much fucking work. Who <laughs> added if me? If we all just got rid of it, it would be fine. If we all just agreed yeah. to, like, not turn our clocks back, it's that easy. But we all have to agree. We all have to come together as a nation. No one's F. Let's get rid of the Electoral College. <laughs> <clears throat> That's a different tangent. I will not go on that right now. <laughs> Why does his hand look so tiny? <laughs> you know what to say it about like, uh, small uh, hands. Oops. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I wasn't really sure about my goal there. Okay, so yeah, so far my um I like I like this game a lot. I think the battle system could be interesting if I really got to know it well. Yes. I like how you can play with uh, three different characters and they each have their own unique style. Um, oh, that's right. How do I do this? Uh, oh, nope. Not like, not like destroying an arm. That's not how you do it. <laughs> Sorry, <one. laughs> Circle. We have. Okay. Uh, I enjoy the atmosphere of the game, even though it's a little repetitive. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, it's kind of like one of those things where it's like how much could they do but then you think of like other dmc games where they just went off the shits with how mm -hmm. crazy like things go oh god jesus yes it, it looks beautiful it's very atmospheric it's very dark menacing um really gets you in the mood of the game mm -hmm. it just is a lot of the same yeah like it would have been better if like they did more like jungle terrarium mm -hmm. and like mm -hmm. um like icy thing, which they kind of do coming right. up, but like, yeah, it's just a lot of like um, moldy, decrepit kind of yes. stuff. They don't really go away from that. Dark and uh, oh, what's the word? Wasting Bot bodily in a way. I get what you mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, it's it, it is really just like I I cannot wait because I feel like there's no way they can't make a DMC six after like this. Ooh. You, um, you used your time arm. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's oh, called ragtime, okay. and it's basically, like, Bayonetta's, like, time, uh, freeze. Cool. Oh, the, hmm. Yeah, The, something. uh, frame rate's dying. The new Pokemon game came out, and we didn't buy it. No! <laughs> I hate my life. No gold orb for you! <laughs> That's my, uh... Uh, okay, is that just to get a gold orb? Do I yeah, care? No, All right, no, no, no. We get we got one for fucking turning on the game. Like I hate not having a map in the corner of my screen because I don't know where I am. I don't know where I'm going. Yeah, no, that's fair. Um, games that use maps. Mm -hmm. Are good. Mm -hmm. uh, you might have to kill all the enemies to get that to activate. Okay, fine. I feel like it's one of those things. Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, no, I, I enjoy the game. I enjoy it. I enjoy it. Hmm. Fuck cold weather. Cannot wait to go to Austin in it's fucking so January. Only November. We're like, I hate the cold. Oh, I know. <laughs> the worst of it hasn't even hit. Exactly. It has been kind of bad, though. It's, it's been on and off. Like, there's been days that last have year, felt like January. Every day was like 40, 50, but it was just gray out. Mm -hmm. I remember that because that's when I was still doing Instacart and like shopping around, so it didn't feel Oh, terrible. yeah, back in like March. Mm hmm. Uh, 
Uh, God, I wonder what I'm going to do for New Year's. I don't know if I'm going to go to that time traveler soiree. I'm working soon. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Well, maybe we can meet downtown. Oh, yeah. God, um, my parents got married on New Year's they Eve. They did? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jesus, why? Mm -hmm. I know, right? They can just never go out for their anniversary. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> that's rough. They had an amazing wedding, though, apparently. Like, people love their fucking wedding. Because it went into, like, midnight, and it was super fun. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. Oops, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, speaking of, yes, speaking of hentai, you should watch The Handmaiden. <laughs> good. It's good. That's a good post. It's really good. It's two and a half hours, but it felt like half that. Okay. It's right. beautiful. Cinematography, the colors, fantastic. Um, we stand a good film. We really do. It really keeps trying to throw you arms. It's because there's a boss fight coming up soon, but your oh, sins... Yeah. Oh, Worms? No. Oh, no. Ew. What else have I been watching? I hate we this. started Hunter x Hunter again. We did. And we're very excited. Yes. Even though we are now remembering the pacing of this anime it's is atrocious. Absolutely horrendous. It's really uncomfortable. Like and you just hard to watch. Have to fucking deal with the fact that they keep talking about mm -hmm. everything. Something really cool will happen, you'll be ecstatic about it, and then they'll be like, hmm, want us to explain it to you? Yeah. Are you a child who has never once used their brain I for, really like, the common good? I don't need you to explain it to me, but thank you. Yeah, no, it's... Like, I saw with my own two eyes? It's um, rated TV mature for a reason. I don't think children are fucking watching it, technically. It related to kind of what I was talking about with, um... I appreciate movies and, and media that shows instead of tells. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. And when I was talking about Miyazaki movies, and we watched... Uh... <gasps> Please, let's talk about Miyazaki movies. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> let's do it. So, I came home. Jules was watching Spirited <laughs> Away. Yes. I haven't seen it in years, and uh, we didn't have any internet. Our Wi-Fi was down. Mm, typical. So, I looked at our DVDs and said, I haven't seen Spirited Away in a while time it's so i put it in the dvd and i pressed the play button and i sat on the couch <laughs> go through like a step by step um, i let out a fart and um <laughs> it played it was great and um, uh, about 23 minutes in i took a sip of water um, <laughs> <laughs> i breathed every other i breathed second. uh pretty much throughout the film um the film overall, it wasn't underwhelming. It just is very hyped up as an overall film. And I do consider it amazing and a masterpiece because of the moments, because of the soundtrack, there, because yes. of the characters, the story. Basically, in full... Stop, please leave me alone. <laughs> Basically, place. in um. full, the movie is amazing. But not because of th this the whole of the movie. It's amazing because of this, the moments it captures. Yes. It's very good at capturing emotions. Mm -hmm. It's um. fantastic. It has, this, it has this magic to it that's indescribable that I don't really know um, how to put into... Indescribable. I don't know how to put it yeah. into words. It's... It's almost a feeling that you get in your gut when you watch these movies, and I feel that with um, pretty much all of them. Spirited Away has a certain kind of power to it, yeah. I feel. There's just an essence there that, like, pulls in, mm -hmm. like, it, it pulls on the hopefulness in you, and it pulls in the, like, part of you that wants there to be more in the world, like, mm -hmm. the mysticism of it all. Like, when you see a movie like that, magic does become real, yes. and it's... In the sense that there are these grand gestures mm -hmm. of, like, amazing spirits, like, coming to light before your very eyes. Mm -hmm. But there's also small magics in it, too, um, that are based off of, like, human connections and also just, like, general small magics. Like, Miyazaki's a master. Yeah, of. he does, like, a, a fucking waving lamppost and you, it, you find it very believable. It isn't yes. something that's laughable. It is just, like, as crazy as it can get, like... You know, spoiler, if you haven't watched Spirited oh, Away. please watch Spirited Away. Please do. But, like, you know, Chihiro's parents turning into pigs is kind of a joke, and it's supposed to be a play also on, like, their um, greed and how mm -hmm. much that they're willing just to take and take and take. Mm -hmm. But you also, like, as gross and odd and strange as it is, you never, like, really laugh at it. You legitimately are like, oh, my God, that's, that's kind of, like, scary in mm -hmm. a way. You're like... And you have to pause and think about it. I was I was saying about how amazing I think the the beginning of the film is is 
just done. Probably my favorite part, the descent into the spirit world is subtle, but swelling, and there's never a moment of... I mean, you can consider possibly her walking through the tunnel the moment where she falls down the rabbit hole, but it's not very clear that she is falling into this magic place. It, like, her parents don't all, like, all of a sudden change, like, right when they walk through. It's, uh, it, it's gradual, and, um, there's so many elements to it. I just, the moment where, I don't know if I'm supposed to, am I supposed to go up or through the, the thing? Uh, I actually do not know. I think through the thing. Through the thing, Okay. The moment where she she walks through and you see like, oh, a field with her parents and her parents keep going forward. They see a town. They're like, oh, it's abandoned. There's never a moment where something, you see little things that are off, but there's never like a sudden change. Yeah. And then you walk through the town and her parents sit down to eat and Chihiro like goes off somewhere. She crosses to a bridge and then it just gradually, everything starts, um... Escalating. Escalating, yes. And she crosses the bridge and she sees, I don't remember what exactly happens, but uh, it starts getting darker. The music starts swelling. She turns around and like Haku's right there. He's like, get out of here. He pushes her away. He like blows these flower petals out. It gets darker. The music gets faster. She sees her parents become pigs. She starts seeing spirits. It's like that whole sequence is masterfully done Yep. in such a way that it's, it's subtle, but it's, it's, Oh, it's it's contradictory. Yeah, the fact that it's it's in your face, but it's it's so gradual that I don't know. It's beautiful. Yes, no, I it's understand. very 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 beautiful. It's a fantastic movie. What is your favorite Miyazaki movie? Um, I'm gonna say for happy feeling ones, it's Kiki's. Um, um, but then also for for serious Miyazaki films, uh, it's a mix between Howl's and Nausicaa. Mm. Yeah. Um. Howls is really, really good. But there's just something about Nausicaa. I think it's because I did watch it as a child. Sure. Um, that, like, kind of punched me in the face because that was the first, like, really real um, Miyazaki film that I had seen. I hadn't seen... Um, it's very dark. Uh, fucking Mononoke. Uh, I... <sighs> Technically, this is a Ghibli film, too. Grave of the Fireflies is a lot. Um, and I watched that when I was in maybe sixth grade, and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> uh, have you ever watched The Cat Returns? No. It's weird. It's I very bet. weird. We'll, we have to... I want to see a Porco Rosso, too. Yes. But the reason why I wanted to talk about, um, uh, movie was that we decided to watch all the extra features, because the internet was still <laughs> out, and, uh, it was like, the making of art. So it was like, yeah, the art is spirited away, and we're like, wow, we can't wait to, like, just kind of see, like, some, um... Miyazaki work and like uh, sketches and concept art. Mm -hmm. No, it was like, hi, I'm James Marston. Or, <laughs> not James Marston. Jason. Jason Marston. Jason Marston. Here at Disney Studios. And he's wearing all. Everything on him was like long. Baggy and, 90s sweats. Yeah, yeah, and it was like, the, the Americans at Disney Studios <laughs> have been working for years on this project. And like, how they had to entice Miyazaki to like With get the master like, filmmaker. <laughs> Hayao Miyazaki. Yeah, Hayao Miyazaki son. Like, <laughs> oh my god. And uh, at one point, they're talking about in the movie, there's a scene where, um, where a very small, wormy, squirmy type, like, spirit. It's like spirit. a slug, yeah. Yeah, it's like a slug kind of comes out of um, this object. And Chihiro stamps on it, and immediately another character is like, oh my god, that's really bad luck. Um, come here, put your hands like this, and bad luck could be gone. Like, he goes like that, basically. Yeah, well, I'll slice through your, your, the gate that you made with your hands. Yes, yes, yes. And so it's, it's like just... a two-second moment. Yes. It's nothing... It's very... Like, it takes a very serious moment, a very, like, scary serious moment, and kind of, like, puts it into lightens the eyes it. of a child. Like, mm -hmm. it lightens it. And here they are just going on. Like, it's this couple named, like, Kyle and Nancy or, like, Barbara and Kevin Dan. And Susan. Yeah, Kevin and Susan. Like, and they're just like, and uh, there were so many times with uh, the translation that we just didn't understand. Like, there's this just completely uh, strange, like, odd, weird, weird thing where she puts her hands together and the little creature kind of looked like a seal. And we're like, that's what that means. And we're watching it, like. <laughs> Oh my god, it's not that deep, Karen. <laughs> it's a fucking different culture. 
<laughs> and they were at one point they're like, oh, we got we got Hayao's Miyazaki to come to the Toronto Film Festival, and you could just see the deadness in like fucking Miyazaki's eyes, where he's just like, I want to, I don't want to be here, I don't want to be here. So um, it's oh, it's yeah, something it's, it, when you take a film that is set in a culture that has its own cultural differences. Yeah, yeah, cultural differences. It's like the only word I can really use is. I, you have to respect that. You have to keep that intact. And yes. it's not not everything translates and, beautifully into American yeah, culture. Yeah, exactly. I, and, and I think they did do a good job of that. And Jason Marsden talked about that very well um, mm-hmm. when he was kind of going over it. He seemed like to be the one that really got what was going on. But otherwise, yeah, it was just kind of like... Um, The other people are like, why doesn't it translate more directly? Like, no, you do... And they did do a good job of it. But, like, in the end... But the way that they were talking about it was just like, shut up, Mm -hmm. calm down. But yeah, I think it's just like a Disney Pixar mood where it's just like all these old people being like, we have such genius ideas and to put it, make it funny and, uh, you know, really give it heart. I'm like, okay, yeah, for the most part, you're pretty good at that. But also, please stop. Shut up. (laughs) I hate this motherfucking. Please quit. What did I call this asshole? And like Ryan could not get over it. Um, chicken nuggets. Chicken. <laughs> I'm gonna look up chicken. Chicken. I'm gonna look up chicken. Siri, uh, search chicken. No. Nope. Uh, Google chicken. I talk about chicken a lot with Ryan for some reason. <laughs> the first instance of chicken in our chat was on 9-26-2018. Meow, hey, how much money you have? Sung 69 cents. Meow, you know what that means? Sung in tears. I don't have enough money for chicken nuggets. <laughs> it's the first instance of uh, chicken between me and Ryan Brobecking. Let's see here. Dude, are you dying? Yes. <laughs> yeah. He just pukes blood. Oh boy. Yeah, no. He's so no a- one knows who V is yet, right? Um, some of them do. I think Dante, Lady, and Trish do. How did they find out? Um, I th- I think, I think they've been, I think it was revealed. It's been a while, guys. Shut up. Leave us alone. <laughs> That was good. That was good shit. I hate every time this fucking pauses for ten minutes and it's like, oh, jeez. Nice. Well, bud. How calculate your score? Slick moves. Bro, I got a trophy. Ah! So the bird part ends. Where? Oh, exactly. God. <laughs> hey, uh, well, maybe next time. I'll be lucky. Maybe this time he'll stay. Light in the piazza. <laughs> no, it's cabaret! <laughs>